so today uh, we are describing a case of primary infertility almost uh, one years plus with fibroid uterus we can see this is a fibroid uterus this is bladder anterior wall and this is the posterior wall we can see on the gray scale gray scale the fibroid is compressing the cavity into two halves it's almost uh, dissecting the cavity into two halves this is the right part and this is the left part so we will see on 3d ultrasound 3d will give us a better picture of the uterine cavity so this is posterior wall fundal fibroid uh, if you go around uh, two to three if you go two to three so let us check how the how is fibroid behaving here so we can see this is a clear cut figo 2 fibroid this is the fibroid compressing whole of the endometrial cavity this is the right horn of the endometrial cavity this is the left horn this is somewhere internal loss and this is the cervical canal this is vaginal canal so this is the right um, part of the right part of a cavity this is the left part of the cavity this is the fibroid so let us see how fibroid is behaving so mapping the fibroid is very important before surgery mapping means having a, a good uh, image of the fibroid in the brain so that at the time of surgery we should be able to remove it and mass and holy so uh, morselation will be endobag inshallah endobag morselation again we can see the fibroid size around 3 by 3 size small fibroid but this fibroid will cause most of the problems in the uh, both for uh, menstrual disturbances as well as for recurrent pregnancy loss and infertility here is the fibroid and hysteroscopy should be done so as to evaluate uh, whether there is any septate cavity so we can see meanwhile look at the ovaries so this patient has a much uh, around one nanograms per ml in the same sitting will be given P will be giving prp therapy so that her egg producing capacity will improve and chromoperturbation that is tube test will be done in the same sitting of histolaparoscopy thank you